Hello everyone and welcome to Usability. Today we are going to see how to play Silver and Blood on PC using the amazing Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action, and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Silver and Blood and enjoy the game on our Windows PC or laptop with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Silver and Blood. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all buddies, to start we need to open our favorite web browser. We selected the one we use by default. Let's go to this URL I have highlighted in green. Now, you are able to see on the screen of the PC. There is no need to type it, simply because there's a clickable link in the description of this video in the first pinned comment. After we click on that link, we get to the site of Bluestacks. No panic, it is just the Android emulator that we are going to run to play Silver and Blood on the PC. As you can discover from here we get a great deal of pros of preferring using this emulator. Then, we are on the way to start downloading the Silver and Blood by simply clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that you can see here in green color. Next step is clicking on the button. And the download step takes no time at all. Voila, this is the download. It is a file to execute. The following step is to run the executable file, ok, so we have to click on the file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow modifications to the system. We have clicked yes. I minimize the internet browser to find the installation software better. The installer is pretty simple. It contains two possibilities, install and setup path. I am going to show you what setup path does. We purely click it, and we note that we have now here the path where the emulator can be set up. If we want to change for better this directory we have to click on this, browse, option, and we opt for another directory and set up the emulator wherever we prefer. To keep it simple, just keep it where it is. Then, I click on back. And I simply click install. Now, there it is. The setup begins and it's going to go forward with the download of those megabytes which are represented on our screen. At the time you save it on your hard disk, it might possibly be more or less MB. The download speed will go faster or at a lower speed, determined by your type of connection and depending on the efficiency of the emulator web servers. Right away they are progressing superbly fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. Now, the emulator happens to be started immediately. As you can see, at the bottom of the screen, there's a progress bar which will fill up then when it reaches the finish, the emulator can be started for the first time. In fact, the emulator has been started, here for the very first time. Before we keep going, as you understand, it created two software icons right here on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks app icon will be one we're focused on. At any time when we desire to launch Silver and Blood on our laptop or computer, we twice click this app icon and as a result start the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let's conduct the following step, which is actually a must-have, and that is to log on to the Google Play Store. To do this we will go there to, System Apps, we click on. And we'll just click on Play Store. As you can see the Google Play is started. Right here we must sign in. Now once we're right here, we must absolutely do this next step that is compulsory. Therefore click on, Sign In. Now it shows, Checking Info. It could in some cases get stopped at, Checking Info. That's why it does not advance. If so, you may attempt to connect to your account after a number of hours and it will surely probably be solved. Now we're going to insert our username and password. The email must be a Gmail email address as well as its associated password. For example you make use of the exact same email you're using at the moment in your own YouTube account. Then I am going to type my data and I'll go back immediately after I have done it. That's it, info typed in. And here is Google welcoming us and offering us their terms of service. We can approve them all by just clicking on, I agree. Next, it make us possible to save to the Google Cloud. You might keep it checked and this will create a backup of your data files on that device to Google Drive. I am not going to select it, you can utilize this feature if you prefer. We click on Accept. Google Play is started automatically and immediately. To set up the application, we need to get to the emulator desktop by left-clicking that app icon marked green colored. Now that we are discovering the desktop of this Android emulator, we see that we have now here the install application option. We then click on that button. Here we have got the game app. Let's quickly then click here on the install choice that I'm showing now in green color. And it will commence the software installation. At this time it will install the game app, it normally takes a bit of time or perhaps it may be almost immediate. This all is determined on our own connection to the internet. 
This has already completed installing. Back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on this specific option that I am emphasizing in green, so that you can launch Silver and Blood for the very first time. You are presently on the emulator desktop, and as a consequence we're about to mouse click on that new Silver and Blood software icon that was generated. The game app is started for the first time. Here we have it, I can also click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I will discuss the volume level of this emulator. This is here, we have got the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume, this manner we are not going to use the windows volume to increase or decrease the sound of your emulator. And to take pleasure in the experience to the maximum, we should activate the big screen, for which we have two options. This is actually the first one, we mouse click on that app icon that I am indeed pointing out in green color. And the monitor is maximized, coming with one border at the top, one at the right and the last one at the bottom. If we would like to experience the app in full screen, we select this game icon. And we'd at present be experiencing the gameplay in full screen setting. To exit the 100% screen setting, just click the F11 key. And we would probably at present end up being in standard screen setting. Now I am choosing to present you the keys mapping and that is certainly very enjoyable. This strategy we may be ready to use the video game a lot more effortlessly. The first thing is to press this software icon. It's now time to get the appropriate setups. I am going to let the default settings, however if you intend to improve it, you may very well achieve it without having problem. As you can see, the emulator is entirely in our own language. In some cases it happens that your emulator is launched in the improper language, for instance, in Mandarin. And to place it in the proper language we click here to the cogwheel. And there inside of various other configuration settings, we click on the language drop down. We may very well decide on the language we prefer, Italian, Mandarin, and so on. Once the language is selected, we could save, the emulator will restart, as well as the game application, the next time we start it, will as well be in the selected language. Now, you can find another element that we need to take into account, and it's that we will receive a message from Google Mail telling that a different electronic device has been connected to this Google account. It should check with us if we are the individuals who have associated with that device. Absolutely, we really should not worry, as the emulator is behaving like a Google Android device. And to find which smartphone or tablet is currently being emulated, we visit here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. And we browse here to the, model, choice. And there we learn that the emulator is emulating a Samsung Mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for that video tutorial. I hope that you liked it, especially that you thought it was handy. If that's so, bring it a good like, subscribe, and any feedback, issues or suggestions, let them in the comment area below. Just click on any of those online videos that are appearing on the computer screen and see you in the upcoming training videos. Bye.